Park Street is an open-world racing simulator for smartphones and PC. While the game is available on Google Play and App Store, a release for console and PC is expected in the near future. The project offers a dynamic and open world, where you can feel like a street racer. Players will be able to complete a career, drift, join clubs, and fine-tune their monsters. Interestingly, they even added elements of realism, you have to stop by the gas station before the race. This game is all about night street racing, where you'll barrel down the roads featuring bustling streets and coastal highways. Drift, avoid other cars, and beat the competition out in your vehicle. Ark Raiders looks like great online co-op fun for those who want to fight off an alien invasion with their friends. Together with your chosen squad of raiders, it'll be up to you to fight off the waves of ruthless mechanical aliens known as the Ark. They're hell-bent on dominating and obliterating your home planet, so this third-person co-op shooter provides players with plenty of opportunities to send the Ark robots back to where they came from. Scavenging and exploring will be integral to finding the best parts to construct ever more powerful weapons for your team to fight with. Luckily, Ark Raiders provides a huge world space to discover as you prepare for deadly encounters with the terrors from outer space. The hugely popular new MMO has taken the world by storm since its release in February 2022. Lost Ark is a single-player experience set in a massive multiplayer online world. Immerse yourself in this richly detailed role-playing game and explore the epic open-world environments that await you. As with most MMORPGs, players can adventure however they want, but Lost Ark offers a variety of quests, dungeons, PvP duels, raids and other battles to try your luck. Team up with your friends in multiplayer co-op mode, or enjoy the game in single-player mode. This stylish-looking action-adventure sandbox game gives you the whole of New York as your playground. Set in a near-to-now, dystopian future where the criminal underworld runs the city streets, Gangstar New York gives players a chance to forge their own destiny as the ultimate kingpin. In this game, the city bends to your rules as you race, shoot, go on heists and use parkour, zip lines, grappling or your jetpack to explore the game world. Featuring solo play, co-op or PvP, it looks like online multiplayer is going to be a strong component of this game if that's your preferred style of play. Dawnlands is an open-world survival crafting cross-platform game with a massive world and epic lore. A variety of biomes, relics, and puzzles dot the landscape, an ancient land, lain dormant for centuries, is waiting to be awoken. One of the things you'll love most about Dawnlands is the way it seamlessly blends exploration, resource gathering, and base building into one cohesive and immersive experience. Whether you're heading out into the wilderness to hunt for food and supplies, or building elaborate structures and defenses to protect your home from marauding monsters, every aspect of the game is designed to keep you busy and invested. Dawnlands is a game that can be enjoyed by those who love open world and survival games.
If you enjoyed the past two installments, you would want to keep tabs on Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland. This year, it's a game very similar to the previous installments. Players are still acting as agents trying to keep American citizens safe. However, this time, we know Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland will be a free-to-play survival action multiplayer shooter. Players will be agents stationed in a rural community, using their skills and weaponry to fend off any hostile attacks that might pop up in Silver Creek. Currently, we know that the game is tied to the franchise's past installments, but it will bring out an entirely new cast of characters. Adventure Quest 3D is another free-to-play open-world games that came out which may be appealing. Right off the bat, an interesting component of this game is that it offers cross-platform gameplay. You can play with friends across PC and mobile platforms like Android or iOS. If you're familiar with this franchise, you might recall Adventure Quest as it's an older Adobe Flash-based RPG that came out back in 2002. With Adventure Quest 3D, players are tossed back into this universe when a new threat emerges. It's up to you and your friends to heed the call for help and begin an adventure of uncovering the mysterious threat and ridding the world of its heinous clutches. Set hundreds of years in the future, on the distant planet of Ida, the shared open-world MMORPG, anime-infused sci-fi adventure tower of fantasy from developer Hata Studio and publisher Level Infinite is now available on PC and mobile platforms globally. Players will be able to experience an anime-inspired post-apocalyptic sci-fi art style, freeform character development, and exciting combat through thrilling battles and exciting open-world exploration. In Tower of Fantasy, dwindling resources and a lack of energy have forced mankind to leave Earth and migrate to Ida, a lush and habitable alien world. There, they observed the comet Mara and discovered an unknown but powerful energy called Omnium contained in it. They built the Omnium Tower to capture Mara, but due to the influence of Omnium radiation, a catastrophic disaster occurred on their new homeworld. Experience a vast alien world, full of beautiful open vistas and imposing futuristic structures. Guild Wars 2's open world is all about discovery and exploration. Check your content guide for suggestions when you set out on your adventures, consult your compass to find interesting landmarks, or just pick your favorite direction to travel in and let adventure find you. Tyria is full of characters with their own stories and goals, and you'll be rewarded for helping them out or thwarting their plans by completing renowned hearts and dynamic events. Read our new player guide for more tips. When you meet other players in the open world, you don't need to join their party to lend a helping hand, investigate a secret jumping puzzle, or team up against a deadly world boss. Don't grind, play the way you want to play, whether you're reviving defeated players, rescuing soldiers from a risen onslaught, or gathering herbs, you'll earn experience points. Arm your character with an arsenal of new weapons as you play, every profession wields them differently, and each type has its own playstyle, which you can refine and customize by unlocking and equipping hundreds of skills and traits. If you want to jump straight into structured PvP, go for it, every player competes at the same level, with access to the max level gear and build options you need to make your mark. Light of Alaria is an open-world third-person exploration puzzle game made by students at SMU Guildhall. In Light of Alaria, you traverse the ancient alien temples and ruins to restore the power of the stars and awaken your sleeping civilization. Alaria was once a quiet and peaceful desert town. 
Soothsayers foresaw a terrible storm that would last for centuries, so all the townspeople decided to fall asleep until it passed. However, as the world decayed over time, the ancient temples that focused the power of the stars began to crumble leaving the world's goddess, Ari, with only enough power to wake up one young hero Rumi. With Ari's help, Rumi must realign the constellation crystals in each of Alaria's three star temples to give Ari enough power to wake everyone up. In her exploration, Rumi discovers a series of notes, memories, and murals that help her uncover the mysteries of Alaria. A different alternative game for those who like open world and free games. Blue Protocol is an upcoming anime-style action RPG, and from the footage showcased, it looks like there are plenty of big monsters to fight off and a thrilling world to explore. Initially, this game was only set to be available in Japan. Fortunately, that's no longer the case, and we'll get this MMORPG in other markets. We know so far that the focus here is our protagonists striving to uncover the truth behind their origins, as their destiny is somehow tied to the fate of this game's planet. With this being an MMORPG, you can expect to join in with friends and go on quests together, whether it's engaging in an online raid or tackling the various quests that NPCs give you. Blue Protocol for PC was released in Japan on June 14th, but in the West it was delayed to 2024, pre-registration now available.